So these are my new guys for my face, and I'm pretty excited. I wonder how they work out. In one of their more recent updates, Snapchat has added a Discover section featuring stories from well-known blogs, businesses, and organizations. After you open the app, you can find this feature by swiping your finger across the screen from the right to the left. The first swipe will bring you to the Stories section, where there are five top featured Discover pages. If you swipe again, then you will be brought to the Discover page, where all 15 Discover publishers are listed. In the Discover portal, major companies publish content-rich Snapchat stories that feature flashy animated title screens with articles below. From time to time, there are also a few video tutorials and blog type posts. Because there are only 15 featured publishers, Discover has been named the hottest club in town by Fortune. Snapchat is constantly adding or removing publishers, creating a competitive marketing scene. Snapchat uses data to determine who stays and who goes. Those with the most views get to stay in the club, while those who are at the bottom receive the boot. Periodically, low performers are replaced with others who have a better chance at getting to the top. Before a company can even think about landing a Discover spot, there are months of negotiating and submitting trial content to Snapchat. With nearly 100 million daily users, there is definitely a reason to try to get in. This has also led to a recent development of selling ad space within a publisher's Discover story. As Snapchat is able to reach younger generations than millennials in ways other advertising mediums can't, advertisers are willing to shell out a lot of money for this ad space, even though there is not a direct link to their website or products. Publishers usually set their own rates and give a guaranteed view count for 24 hours. On average, each view is worth 10 cents. With nearly 500,000 views for some, this equates to $50,000 to $100,000 a day to advertise on some Discover channels. Out of this, Snapchat gets a 30% cut from ads that are sold by publishers and a 50% cut from ads they sell themselves. As Snapchat continues to grow in popularity, so will the desire for brands to utilize the opportunity to reach younger audiences with un increasingly untappable potential. To get to the geo filters, you need to start by actually turning on the location settings on your phone from the phone settings itself. Once you have that, all you would need to do is simply snap a picture as we're going to show, and then you can actually slide through the filters and it'll use your present location to be able to pull up specific filters and different graphics and logos for where you're currently located. Uh, of course, as we are here at Radford, there's the Radford Geo filter. So, we think this has tremendous potential for events and for uh, business eventually, as you can create a little bit more hype and people are going to want to share it if it has that filter. Uh, but we'll go into it and show you a little bit more here. Okay, so as we can see on Tech Insider, you know, how you would go about creating your own geo filter is you start off by submitting a web optimized transparent PNG. Uh, you can create this in either Photoshop or Illustrator or there's open source programs out there like GIMP that you can uh, create this in. As you can see it's 1920 by 1080 that's the standard size of like a HDTV just turned on its side. Uh, you want to leave a buffer zone about 149 pixels at the top and the bottom. And they also want you to avoid doing borders all the way around because it's kind of tacky. So then what you'll do is you'll go to Snapchat's web page where they have their upload station. Uh, you're basically going to upload your image on the right. And then from there you're going to enter in some information about whether or not it's an event, why it's special to you. And then they're going to also have you block off an area of a map where you'd want that geo filter to show. And it'll kind of look like this when it's done. So basically as soon as you were to enter into this area and you were to take a picture and start sliding through your location settings, suddenly that geo filter would pop up the We Are BC if that got approved by Snapchat. One other thing to note that you can also set it for an event. As we can see right here, somebody made one for Columbia, South Carolina Game Day. And it's only for September 13th, 2014. 
It is important to note that at this point, businesses are not currently eligible for community geofilters, as you do have to submit them for Snapchat's approval. If you send one for a company or a small local business, they are going to turn you down. It's more for events and things of that nature. However, they are starting to experiment with that, as McDonald's was actually the first one. Uh, they have this uh, filter on the top, and then they also had this love and summer fun at the bottom. Um, so as far as that goes, advertising on Snapchat is something that is looking like it's coming up in the future. This is a mock-up for MasterCard and mock-up for BMW here. Um, and I believe this was an actual campaign, Terminator uh, Genesis, coming out July 1st, where you could actually add this little... Uh, uh, animation to your screen so as far as that goes that's geo filters and we think that this would be an excellent opportunity especially for concerts and events uh, that you could definitely use to help promote uh, like events like that and make it feel like a bigger event than it, it normally would be